Hi, um, my name is Gabby and I'm Craig's daughter. And I just wanted to share a story with you all about me and my dad. My dad and I would play frisbee a lot outside in our side lawn, a side lawn, especially during the summertime. Even when I had a lot of homework, I still tried to make time to go outside and play with him. I would always have the best time with him, even though it wasn't as much as a game of frisbee as it was a game of catch or fetch, sorry. I would always try and throw it to him, but it would almost always going up to the side, so we'd always have to run and try and grab it before it reached the ground. I wasn't especially good at Frisbee, but my dad was. He could do all these cool tricks with them, like spinning it on his finger and flinging it off or catching it behind his back or throwing it sideways under his leg. He could also be stubborn sometimes where I would throw it, but it wouldn't reach him. So he made me go grab it and try again and again and again until it reached him. Sorry. I always ended up laughing so hard I couldn't stand. I'm definitely going to miss playing Frisbee with him but I'm glad I got all those memories. My, sorry. My dad could always make me laugh no matter what, and he could always cheer me up. I like this story especially because it really just sums up my relationship with my dad. He was the type of dad who was always there for me, who always made me smile, who always made me feel safe when I was with him, and who always protected me and always tried to do what was best for me. I'm gonna miss him so much, but I know he is in heaven happier than he has ever been. And I know he is looking down on me right now and telling me how proud he is of me and how much he loves me. Hi, so my name is Andrew and I'm his middle child. I just wanna tell you a bit about my dad. Um, so the two most paramount life lessons that my dad has taught me was to work hard no matter how tired you feel and to live life with a sense of humor. My dad was a hard worker, simply put. There's no other way to describe it. No matter how long of a day he worked, no matter how, many, no matter how few hours of sleep he had gotten the night before, I never once heard my dad complain and I never once saw him give up. He would work 11 hour days and come home and work on projects with me. He would always ask me to help with these projects as a teaching experience. And he also knew that I had an interest and a passion for the labor that he loved. We fixed and sold two dirt bikes. We tiled our laundry room floor. We built an outdoor fireplace and spent countless hours working on cars. One project that will always stick with me was the time we put an addition on our shed over quarantine. This project took about two weeks and we had to work for several hours a day. It was no easy feat by any means. As much as this project was for him, so we could have more space to store his never-ending and constantly expanding collection of tools and other miscellaneous items, but he, never allowed, but he allowed me to do the majority of the work. He taught me how to level the ground to make sure the new floor would be even, how to properly tear down a wall to make room for the expansion, and how to install a floor, how to put up support beams and new siding, and how to install a new roof. And there were countless times where we ran into problems, running out of nails for the nail gun, misplaced the pry bar, stripped screws, siding that was impossible to tear off. But through all that, we never managed to resort to warfare on the shed. He taught me, he taught me that there was always a way to get it done and to use the right tool and to get it done right. He taught me that there was a way to fix every problem, no matter how many obstacles stand in your way. Not only a way to fix a problem, but to do it with a cheerful heart and a sense of humor. And speaking of a cheerful heart, my dad was full of fun and humor. Anyone who met him can easily say the same. Whether, whether bad dad jokes, sarcasm that no one else enjoys, or the, <laughs> or the occasional joke that would land, never give up in the face of challenges and never stop trying to make others laugh. Thank you. What we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. A sunset, a mountain bathed in moonlight, the ocean in calm and in storm. We see these, love their beauty, and hold the vision to our hearts. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. Our beloved ones are no more lost to us when they die than if they were still laughing and loving and working and playing at our side. Truly. Life is overlord of death, and love 
can ever lose its own. These words from Helen Keller have been imprinted in my mind since I sang them with my chorus group so many years ago, but they have been echoing through my head since Wednesday when my phone started buzzing after math class. The ocean in calm and in storm. The calm as we laughed with my extended family, reminiscing on all of his, not even dad jokes, but bad jokes. The storm we felt sitting in Mass General Hospital, slowly processing the words coming out of the doctor's mouth. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. We will carry my dad with us for the rest of eternity. I hope all of you know that when you look at my family and I, you're looking at my dad's most cherished project. Everything that he did, everything that he stood for was to support our family. Truly, life is overlord of death and love can never lose its own. I heard this really beautiful idea the other day. In the chaos on Thursday, a friend of our family sent us a message, and in it she said, I'm not exactly going to say sorry for your loss because Craig isn't lost. You know exactly where he is. My father was and is the type of man who wouldn't want us to mourn, but instead to rejoice in joyful celebration as we treasure our memories of him and hold them to our hearts. We're here today to celebrate the life of a good man and a hard worker, my father. I'm proud to be his son, and I know that he's proud of me too. What we have once enjoyed, we can never lose. A sunset, a mountain bathed in moonlight, the ocean in calm and in storm. We see these, love their beauty, and hold the vision to our hearts. All that we love deeply becomes part of us. Our beloved ones are no more lost to us when they die than if they were still laughing and loving and working and playing at our side. Craig is no more lost to us than when he was still laughing and loving and working and playing at all of our sides. Truly, life is overlord of death and love can never lose its own.